Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to introduce you to the rendering engine by Redway 3D. During this demonstration, you will see how to work in a realistic rendering mode. As well, you will see how to create your own custom materials and textures, and how to use custom lights. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do here is just going to introduce you to the assembly that we're going to be playing with with the rendering. So here you can see the front end of what uh, looks like to be the front end of a little RC car, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, if we zoom around on it and zoom up, you can see that we can test the mechanics of this dynamically just by pulling and tugging on it. So that's kind of fun, right? But, you know, right now we're just working with standard CAD colors. And uh, that's kind of boring. So what I'm going to do is actually ask Top Solid 7 to go into realistic rendering mode. And I can do it with edges or without. I'm going to do it without edges for now. And here you're going to see it with shadows and everything. And notice how fast that I'm able to rotate the model around and see how quickly those shadows dynamically update. It's pretty cool. Now, another little feature of Top Solid is this. When working with the rendering mode, I can go in here and I'm going to just kind of pin this up real quick. And I'm going to change my family to be looking for environments. And show bitmap images of them. And here, I'm going to drag and drop an environment into my design space. And the whole idea of the environment is this. My little wheel hub here is actually reflective, but right now it has nothing to reflect. So, for example, I'll drag my museum into here. And now if we zoom up, and I grab this, you can see that I'm dynamically reflecting the museum. So using the environment mode just gives you a little bit more of a realistic effect as you're working. Um, from there, we're going to go ahead and do some other things. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to show you what a static rendering would look like. So to start with, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and go to Visualization, go to my rendering, and in order to use this rendering, you would have to um, have our actual rendering module. But you'll see real quick the effects of it. So if I just say Display Preview, here the software is using both sides of my dual core processor to start rendering this, and away you go. Now you'll notice here that there's some other geometry on the screen that you don't see, and that's just because I have it turned off. Uh, it's a reflective piece of geometry so that we can see the underside of our little front end assembly here. So as this is rendering, if I scroll down, you can see the reflection kicking in underneath the little stand that I made for it. And again, this rendering is taking place in real time. So it's pretty fast. If you had a quad-core processor, it would be that much faster. And like that, you can see the effect of our rendering. It's very nice, very high quality. From there, we're going to go ahead and make a change. What I want to do is I want to actually define my own texture, just to show you how easy it is to do. So I'm going to go to my material folder here, and I'm going to right-click and say I'd like a new document. And the new document that I'm going to create first is going to be a texture. And say OK. I'm going to give this a uh, name of Pebbles. Why not? And this description is going to be Pebbles. We're going to save this once. I'm going to say Auto Axis for the category. And I'm going to go grab my bitmap. And here I have a Pebbles bitmap. Go ahead and open that up. I'm just going to give it an initial width. And we'll save that. From here, I'm going to make a new material to apply pebbles to. So I'm going to say new document again, this time material. OK, so here I'm going to give this a description of pebbles. You can give it a part number or not, density or not. This is just going to be a texture. We're going to make it nice and quick and simple. So what I'm going to do is apply pebbles. Now from here, I'm also going to apply a default color to my pebbles, just for fun. And give it a specular shininess, maybe some spreading. That looks nice. So I'm going to go over to here, just rename this to be the pebbles material. And like that, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So I'll close that file, I'll close this file, and just to show you how easy it is to apply a new material and new texture, more importantly. I'm going to say that I'd like to take my pebbles material with that texture and apply it to that part because that part was included four times, 
you can see that it's updated four times. And with the auto access, you can see that it does a great job wrapping that texture around my part. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and do one last thing. I'm going to go to parts and turn on my little render base. As well, just to show you, I have some uh, special lights in here. So let's go ahead to our lights. And I'm going to show them. As well, I'm going to turn them on. And now that I've turned them on, I'm going to go ahead and ask Top Solid to render them with them on. And now you can see you can even play with custom lights within Top Solid 7 as well. So again, the goal of this is just to introduce you to the fact that we're trying to add a very, very realistic rendering approach within the product, give you a lot of power to create your dynamic renderings for the products that you're going to design and manufacture.